I am in Kennedy Park in Titusville. There's a vehicle assembly building behind me there. And it's windy. They said it's going to be about 85% chance of launch, but I don't even know if you guys can hear me. Let me turn the camera around here so you can see. That is the Indian River. Here, there's some more some people over here. Check it out. Well, guys, I spoke to my buddy that works at the range, and he says that we're still a go. Winds should die down a little bit, but we're actually 90%. So, sorry about the phone moving around, but I got the camera here blocking the wind like that. You'll be able to hear me, but uh, so probably what I'm going to do. So, what you going to do? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to do this. Anyway, now we're left for lunch, so I'll probably just stand behind the camera, maybe talk, and then uh, get us taken from there. And in all seriousness, thoughts and prayers are definitely for all those people who had to mess with that hurricane. Got some damage at my house as well. Uh, Fort Myers is just a disaster area. Sandbell Island, which is a beautiful area, is now trashed. Down in the description, I'll put a link there to donate. Any little bit counts. Starlink is helping emergency workers and uh, homeowners out there with signal. I was thinking about going over there and maybe interviewing or talking to somebody that has Starlink that it helped them during the storm or after the storm, of course. I don't know, it might be something interesting for you guys to see. Devastating to record and pretty depressing video. If any of you viewers were hit by Ian, you're watching YouTube and hit my channel, thank you so much. Let me know down in the comments how you're doing, how can we help, what is needed, and um, maybe we can do something for you. Anyway, this is the SES uh, 20 and 21 launch. It's extremely windy, but it looks like it's still a go. So I'm super excited. Uh, the first launch since the hurricane passed. It gets my mind off of things because I've had so much work to do and clean up over at the house. I had a tree come down right by the pool and I had to chop up the tree and I had some flooded areas of the yard as well, but nothing compared to what happened on the west coast there's still an hour left for launch thank you for sticking around thanks for coming i'll see you guys soon people got some great seating over there i would love to be over there you will not be able to hear me if i stand over there this is the launch alliance ula atlas 5 rocket I believe it's going to launch two commercial communication satellites to orbit this is the SES-20 and SES-21 spacecraft, and it is launching from Space Launch Complex 41 over at the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station here in Florida. They will be launched in a geosynchronous orbit, about 30 minutes apart from each other. And what they're built to do is to provide television broadcasting service across the United States. They were built by Boeing. The Atlas V is pretty much the most reliable rocket on the fleet. This will be the last launch of a Delta V 531 series. ULA Safety Officer. Go. Vehicle System Engineer. Go. Anomaly Chief. Go. Range Coordinator. Clear to proceed. Launch Director. You have permission to launch. Proceeding with... Seven, six, five, four, 
three weeks. Two, one. And lift off the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying SES 20 and 21 for SES, the leading provider of global content and activity solutions. SRBs, and the vehicle has gone to closed loop guidance, and the RD-180 is throttled down as expected. About one minute remaining in the boost phase of flight. And we've had good indication of payload fairing jettison and Centaur forward load reactor jettison. And we've had Atlas Centaur separation. Restart on the RL-10. Standing by for MAS-1 shortly. And we have ignition for the first burn of today's mission. Uh, this will be the first of three Centaur burns for today's mission. It will last a little over seven minutes.